And one of the things that's kind of a small thing, one of the things I love is being able to get up at night, and not have to put on my glasses to find my way you know, around the house. You yeah, know, it's, absolutely. It's, just like, it's like being a kid again. Yeah, you know? <laughs> we had kind of talked about a variety of lens implants and um, and we decided on the panoptics lens, which is a, um, a trifocal lens that allows patients to gain a full range of vision from distance to up close. And, um, and how has that experience been for you so far? That's been good. Of course, the, the, the best for me has been the, the, the distance vision. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just between the better vision and, and the, the cloudiness being gone with the cataract being yeah. gone, you know, that's where I notice it the most is, you know, when I explain vision correction to patients during cataract surgery or other times, I always explain that vision correction is, is a little bit of a give and take. And so there's always some sacrifices with different technologies and um, the multifocal lens and the panoptics is really one of the best technologies that we have. Some of the drawbacks could be a little bit of glaring or halos at night. Have you experienced that? I have those? really not experienced that. That's great. And most patients don't, you know, the, the percentage of patients who actually notice that is probably less than about five to 10% mm -hmm. of patients. And even those patients say that, you know, it may be annoying, but, but it's certainly tolerable and it's worth, worth it given everything else that you get in right. return. Right. Um, and so during the, um, cataract surgery process, how do you feel like that process was? I thought it was very, very smooth, very easy. Um, I'm not a guy that likes a lot of surprises. Yeah. You know, so I really appreciated that you took the time to to walk me through what it was going to be like and what the what the different stages, how we were going to do it. Uh, you and Beatrix, as, uh, between the two of you, it, you just did a great job of preparing me for what was coming and, and then going through it. Oh, well, I appreciate that. And obviously our goal is always to make sure that this is an unknown for most patients. And so, you know, it, it's important for patients to know what they're going to go through and, and it helps right. the process be a lot more uh, seamless and streamlined. What's one thing that you would um, tell patients who may be going through this process or who are about to go through this process? Ask lots of questions. Yeah. You know, and, and that's one of the things I've always appreciated about you, even when it was just time to do regular eye exams, you've always been very good at answering questions, taking the time to make sure that it that I understood and, and to take the time to answer something that, I, that maybe I didn't. So. Oh, well, I really, really appreciate that. And Bob, I really appreciate you giving us the opportunity to take care of you for so many years and, and uh, to help you regain your vision and, and enjoy the things that you like to do. Um, I really appreciate you taking your time out to be able to explain uh, the process for you. After cataract surgery, do you feel um, that you had any issues with the drops? How was the post-operative process? Not bad. I mean, the, the drops, but then I was used to putting saline solution and stuff in my eyes anyway. Yeah. So it's yeah. not like I had a big phobia about something's going in my eye. Sure, you know? so, sure, <laughs> yeah. sure. So it, it was pretty easy and pretty smooth for me. That's awesome, that's awesome. Well, I appreciate you taking the time out and talking to me. Is there anything else that you'd like to ask me or anything you'd like to say out out to the audience there. I just that it's it's you're very thorough and and I think you've done a great job. Oh, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I